If you are brand new to sales, then the good news is you have lots of opportunities ahead of you. The bad news is you're probably not very good at this. So the question is, how are you gonna generate more leads? How are you gonna increase your close rate? And how are you gonna get those commission checks coming in? The scariest thing about being in sales is those moments where nothing is happening, where you feel out of control, you don't know what to say, you don't know how you're gonna turn it around. And so I have six really quick tips that you can focus on to see improvements right away. Tip number one is spend your time on the customer. And this is probably the most important thing you can do. When you come into the company, your sales manager, your boss is probably gonna sit you down and spend days and weeks trying to teach you the product, trying to teach you the service, how to sell, what you sell, and all of those things. They're gonna spend all their time focusing on the company and the history. They're gonna focus on them, right? It's a really selfish point of view, and then they're gonna send you out to the world, and they're gonna say, have that and start talking about us. But here's the thing, customers do not care about you. They care about themselves. And so the very best thing you can do is spend all of your time focusing on learning about the customers first. Because you can always tweak and change the benefits or the features of the product. You can always figure that stuff out later. But the thing that will take you the furthest in sales is focusing on what the customers want, the language they use, what their fears, their pains, their dreams are, all of those things. And that comes with time, it comes with repetition, and it comes with exposure. So start on day one. When you're talking to your sales manager, ask them the questions about customer insight, who you're focusing on. Not demographics, not their age or their location, although that's important, but their psychographics. What are the themes that continually come up? What is the resistance I'm gonna face? What are the things people are worried about? Really start to hone in on your customers before you focus on features, benefits, and everything else. Number two. Fall in love with the product. Fall in love with the service. Find something about the company or the story or the brand or how it helps people. Find something about what you're doing or what the company does that you can genuinely love. Something that taps into your past or why you picked this industry. If you haven't made a sale yet, you can still hope. You know, I spent years selling on intentions. I still do that today. I sit down with people and I say, here is what we're trying to do for clients. We haven't gotten there yet. It's really hard to do. It might even be impossible, but we are trying every single day to get there. So even if you don't have a sale under your belt, you can still talk about what you hope to accomplish, what you intend to do, how things should work, what you're working towards. Find something within the product, the service, the company, the story that you absolutely love because that love and that passion will come through in how you frame your body, in your voice, in your eyes, in how you lean in, in how you help or care about the situation that the client's in. All of that will come through and will lead to excitement and that passion and that excitement will lead to confidence on the prospect side and they will start to trust you and believe in you more. They will think that you are on their side, not the company side, that you are an advocate for them and they will really start to open up for you and it'll make your entire process a little easier for you. Number three, find a mentor. There are people who have done this. There have been salespeople for forever. And so there is someone inside your industry, inside your company, or even outside, who sells a certain way that could work for you. You don't have to figure this out on your own. The very fact that you're watching this video means that you are trying to get better at sales and you have something to learn. You are open to the idea of learning. If I wanted to get super ripped, I could go out and copy exactly what Schwarzenegger did when he was in his prime and I wouldn't look like this anymore. I would be totally jacked because he's figured it out. He's done it. I could go out and copy what he does. But if I have a physical limitation, or I don't think the way he thinks, or I can't do what he does, or I don't put in the time or the commitment, it's not going to work. So find someone who has similar attributes and skill sets to you. Start applying those principles to what you do. Number four, you need to be open to learning and be curious as hell. And this isn't rocket science. The more curious you are about why things are the way they are, about how things work, about how people think, the more that you wanna look into and the deeper you go, that will build up confidence in you. I know a lot of things about a lot of things, but I also don't know a load about other things. And I'm confident in the things that I know, and I'm confident enough to tell people I don't know that. 
Because guess what? I'm not insecure about the amount of knowledge I have because I'm super, super curious. And so be open to learning. Don't assume you have all the answers. Don't have a false sense of bravado. Don't allow yourself to be out there and be egotistical or overly confident because you're insecure. Be curious. You never know where that information is going to take you. And when it does come up, you feel like amazing because you have the answers on hand. And so be open to learning and be endlessly curious. Number five, test what you say to people. The more volume you have, the more people you speak to, the easier this becomes. But if something isn't working, throw it away. Take a look at yourself in the mirror. Question why things aren't working and be open to small tweaks and small tests and learn from them. Things that worked for six months will stop working for the next six months. Guess what? Markets change, competition changes, your value offer changes. Everything is always changing and you need to reinvent yourself. But you don't know that if you just stick to the same thing time after time after time without trying things, without being a little bit, I don't want to say reckless, but being open to in the moment trying something new, gauging the reaction and seeing if it works for you. And if it does, try it again. And if it works a second time, but not the third time, why? Why is it that the third time it didn't work? Is it about the person or the conversations or did you remove a step or what's happening? But always be open to testing and trying. And if you're in a role where your manager will not allow you to do this, then you still need to consider how much freedom you have within your script, within how you speak to people, within how you carry yourself or what you say. And within your boundaries, you need to still be testing because guess what? What you've been doing didn't work. It hasn't worked. And so you need to hit on that thing that works for you, for your customers, for your targets, for your audience, everything within your market, what works for you. And you're only going to find that if you try new things. And tip number six, don't jump from job to job or industry to industry. Don't move around so quick and bounce from thing to thing because while you're going to accumulate a little bit of knowledge in the general sense, you're not going to spend enough time or commitment on something to be able to dig deep and unlock those things you need to unlock. My last tip was to test and you got to test in small and incremental amounts, but you can't just throw the whole thing out and start something new and throw the whole thing out and start something new. You're never going to grow. You're never going to give yourself the time and the patience that you need to develop your craft and your skill of helping people. This takes time. It takes repetition. In my business, when we bring on a producer, someone who produces videos, a director kind of person, they literally need 18 months. It takes a year and a half before they face the same type of situation or question a second time. There are so many different types of projects and different types of challenges and situations that come up. So it literally just takes them a long time before they feel comfortable because every day they're being faced with new challenges, new situations, and they don't have the answer to it. They feel like they should have this figured out by now. But here's what I tell them. It's going to take you a year and a half. There's so many different variables. Give it the time, give it the reps that you need to master it and learn it. And then once you've experimented and you found the mentor that's going to help you and you focused on the customer and you've done all of these tips and it's still not working for you, then get the hell out of there. Seriously, move on. But before then, give it the time that it needs to make sure that it's not just you. I want to know down below which tip you found most helpful, which tip has helped for you. and. Let me know if there's a tip that I missed. I also want you to remember to think big. You got to be bold and you got to say yes. I can try and copy the rocks workout routine, but it's not going to work for me. Like, look at me. If sales and marketing and scaling your business is important to you, be sure to subscribe to my channel or check out this video right over here.